I just went into CVS and I bought Allure magazine and I bought Women's Health magazine and I bought a giant bottle of water because there's a water cooler at work but um, I won't drink out of it unless I have drank out of a water bottle beforehand if that makes any sense because then I drink this whole thing and then I refill it, I refill it, I refill it but I won't actually drink out of the water cooler if I just have to get the little cups. Very odd, I know. And then I got my like receipt from CVS and it says... Um, I got a coupon for getting ready for prom. I get to save a dollar on Clean and Clear. I guess apparently by the purchases that I make at CVS, they must think I'm a teenager. Pretty cool. What do you want to say? About what? What about that person called me stupid? Well, I don't know, but I know a lot of. I, there are a lot of stupid people out there, unfortunately. And they hide behind their people. computer trying to make themselves feel better about themselves. Way too many people are really stupid out there. I don't feel like I'm overly smart, but comparatively, I don't feel too bad about myself. But I know that my daughter has received way better education than I ever did. And she's probably, or I know for certain that she's one of the smartest people I know. So for somebody if they to don't say get she's what I'm educated, but if they don't get, to, they don't see what I'm doing and not realize like what I'm doing is for entertainment value, and I'm not showing my entire life on camera. They've got to be like a complete moron. Now, I don't think Lorraine just goes to the grocery store and buys fruit, or just comes in the store and shows things. She's busy doing lots of different things. And I know from my bank account that I paid for a lot of education for Lorraine, so don't worry about her lack of education. She is definitely an educated person. I think they got Both mad. in life and in reality of education. I think they got mad because I said something about I wanted to get my weapons permit because I wanted to get it before it got taken away. Well, the Stanics have never had any uh, firearms or any kind of weapons in their home at all so and then uh, someone I got it was a joke it was a joke and someone got mad at me also because I said something about the health care plan when in actuality the in the the they did have I don't know what the the whole health care plan is now and it's been revised a couple times but at one point I know they said that the doctors do were going to have a point where they couldn't get a certain amount of money anymore well, it's a difficult situation. I don't know that there is definitely things wrong with health care, and if the government can do things to make it better, go for it. But if they're going to make it worse, I'd say maybe not, but I don't know. I don't know. But I then I also said to you, oh, you're going to be the one to pay, and they didn't get my sarcasm when I said that to you. I do pay a lot for health care. Yeah, well, I, I know. Do. and they, Well, they say that the small businesses are going to end up making... Um, getting like a tax cut? I have yet to ever, I'm 54 years old and in my entire life, 54 years, I've never been given anything for free or any kind of a break in any way at all, ever. And you're ever. one of the hardest working people I can't, I know. I can't remember ever, 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 not even one time somebody saying, oh, there's a $10 deduction on your taxes or there's, oh, you don't have to pay tax on this. I have plenty of people that come in the store that don't want to pay tax, but, um, you know, you have to charge tax, and I pay a lot in tax, and I think I, or I probably sometimes feel like I deserve some sort of a statue or something or some kind of award for how much tax I pay. But I guess there are a lot of people that don't understand out there what I'm doing. Not a lot, just... I, it's it's, it's well, strictly it's for entertainment. I, it's not like... It's a person here or there that doesn't get it, but I think that people... And then they call me stupid for not getting what I'm doing. You're not stupid. I, I know you're not stupid. You were always like a straight-A student, so I don't know how that could be stupid. There came a certain point where the, you didn't the, care But they anymore. don't understand that I sometimes I go... There's 24 hours in a day and I pick up my camera and film things that I think are funny or entertaining and I'm not gonna necessarily go and give anyone a political speech because no you should never talk about politics or religion just I don't know people are stupid people unfortunately are stupid it's unfortunate but it's true people, people are have a tendency to be really lazy and people have a tendency to be really stupid and, and I think it's just because maybe it's mostly because they're lazy but you're not lazy, I'm not lazy, and I think most people watching you aren't lazy people. It's just it's part of their day. It's entertainment. And Lorraine appreciates it.
appreciates all the good comments. I do appreciate the good comments, but it's like, what the hell? Like, what do you, th like, you think you know me from watching me for eight minutes? Like, and then you're going to have the audacity to call me stupid? It's, um, it's like anything. If somebody comes into the store and criticizes your, your dad's artwork, I get really offended. They cr criticize you, I get really offended. Well, the only people that criticize his artwork are people that say that they're artists too, and so they know. But well, in he in has actual his master's in fine art, so anybody that comes in here or anybody that goes online and buys daddy's work, they're getting a bargain. A bargain. I know. So. What are you wearing today? Pretty consistent. Ruby necklace on. Mm -hmm. And I have a um, Lisa Tavis chain on. Uh -huh. And I have a the so garnet. Sonia Renee uh, garnet. What's your mm -hmm. black shirt? Is that Lilla P? Lilla P. And your green one is the old Zoe that we don't sell anymore because they went out of business. Mm -hmm. Why don't we get any more Alessi watches in? They're having an issue. What kind of issue? I don't know. Uh, Seiko didn't want to carry their watches anymore for some reason, or make them, or whatever. Oh. Someone had a qu was asked, is Cartel going bankrupt? Do you Not that I'm aware of. I just spoke to Cartel yesterday. Everything seems to be fine. They said that they heard Cartel was going bankrupt. Really? No surprises. Really? Probably not. I like Cartel. I like the Louis Ghosh chair. Get them while you can, then, right? Right, right. <laughs> I hope not. Someone else will want to pick up the Louis Ghost chair and sell it, then, right? Or no? Uh, I don't. They have the rights to it. I think they would, instead of going bankrupt, I would think they would maybe try to sell their company. That's yeah, true. You know, I don't. I think it's a great company. I don't think it would be a good thing to just go bankrupt. Yeah. But who knows? Yeah, no one knows. You know, Cartel has always sold a lot of. Um, furniture, you know, to businesses and stuff, and I think that that was, like, really a big, big part of their business for probably the last, you know, 12, 15 years, and uh, that's probably uh, slowed down quite a bit. Nobody's buying furniture anymore. Uh, I still sell plenty of furniture. But not like the people are more buying things for themselves now. <laughs> I have enough furniture. Well, online. I feel like in the last couple of years, like more people have stopped buying as much furniture and as much things for the home, mm -hmm. and now they're more buying clothes and jewelry and things and like that. Right. They realize they can have a lot more. Why get a new sofa when you can have a new wardrobe? That's true. Right. Look good. Don't let. No one has to come to your house. <laughs> Not very many people come to my house, and it looks pretty cool. So. What's the point of it? So it's just buy it for me. Yeah. I'm leaving my apartment right now. For some reason, people are having a party next to the trash compactor. I don't know, like, the appeal to it, because it doesn't smell good over there. And it doesn't look pretty over there. So I really don't know what they're doing over there. Unless it's a drug deal. That might be it. I'm always interested in these drug deals. I don't do drugs but I like to see people deal in drugs. Poland Springs water is not popular in Florida. I know it's popular up north, but do they have Poland Springs in Poland? <laughs> in order to get in the mood to work out, you have to buy workout clothes, like it's a necessity. I like this. Just do it. This is my cute little jacket throw on because it all of a sudden got cold. What the hell? Oh. In the shorts it says in case of an emergency. Why would it say that on there? And then you put your name. Oh, I guess if you hurt yourself and someone needs to find you and finds you, they pull that out of your pocket. <laughs> I don't like that sports shorts have built-in underwear. <laughs> These are the guys ones. Looks like it goes like up the bottom a little bit. <laughs> the shorts are called On The Rise. It's because they rise up really nice.
Has anyone seen this on TV? Basically, it just shakes up and down. It's very inappropriate. I don't know why they sell this. It's only $19.99, though. Shake your way to firm and fab. I'm gonna buy one of these right now. Taser, your personal protector. Do you have to have some kind of permit to have this? I'm taking a brochure. Belly burning fat belt at, um, as seen on TV at Sports Authority tonight. Um, if you've watched my Day in the Life videos for a while, you've probably seen that I was, I had a fat belt before, but this one must be much better because it is more expensive and it was seen on TV. And it's got this nice little, like, thing. I will tell you exactly how this goes. So my outfit of the day consists of my Sydney Evan um, necklace, my Emma J. Sabat necklace, better value than these. Um, five foot gold Lisa Tavish chain, um, this black only hearts just throw on dress, super simple, I like easy things. Uh, my, I think these are Ralph Lauren shoes that were only like $39.99. Um, you know, my David Smallcomb cuff bracelets. Uh, ooh, this bracelet. I decided to get, I needed, I don't know, I, I like shiny things. <laughs> this is um, also a Lisa Tabas bracelet um, with different links and stuff in it. Um, I didn't do anything to my hair today. That's it. Boring. Got the Iron Gym tonight at Sports Authority as well. It was only $29.99. Um, look how nice it goes just over your doorway like that so you can't close your door. Um, but I'm going to attempt to do it now. Let's see. Ow, shit, that hurts. I'm going to be so buff. You're probably wondering if what's the appropriate amount of jewelry to wear when working out. Basically, um, I'm going to wear all of my jewelry working out except for this gold chain you know because that's probably inappropriate because it dangles around and will hit you in the face I probably don't want to wear this because this will you know dangle around but these bracelets I never take them off um, my watch need to know the time um, and I've got my fat blaster on this black belt I can feel myself getting skinnier already